This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Packed Mojito Wallet, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So right from the start, you might be thinking that this thing looks a lot like leather, and it does look a lot like leather, but it's not animal leather, it is a PU leather. And that is a polyurethane leather, and that is a thermoplastic polymer, and you see that used a lot in shoes and other consumer products, so it does have a lot of durability, which is great for a wallet, because you want your wallet to last. But I think it does have a very classic wallet look and feel. It's very soft, and I think it overall looks very nice, and like the stitching on the outside is nice as well. And just that durability is very important for a wallet, especially a travel wallet. You don't want this thing to be falling apart. But the big player on this wallet is this elastic band up here. So this keeps your cards in place. You can fit up to six cards inside of here, but you don't need to have six cards in there because this elastic band holds it in place. So even if you just had one card in there, this is going to hold that in place. The elastic is stretchy, but not too stretchy, and it hasn't stretched out. So that's a huge thing because as soon as this started stretching out too much to where it would just like fall off really easily, uh, like it takes a, quite a bit of force to do that, um, at least more force than would most likely naturally happen. So as soon as that stretched out, this wallet would kind of lose a lot of its features, but that hasn't happened yet and that's a big plus. Uh, one time when I was pulling it out of my pants, maybe twice, I noticed that this got knocked off while I was doing that, uh, but those were on like tighter pants with like a smaller hole to the pocket. So I think that's probably more so why than anything else. We're gonna look on this side here. We have this little packed imprint, which I think looks very classy and is not too in your face. And on this side, we have a little bit of subtle green stitching going on. So we have the little logo down here, which I think is a nice accent. And then we have this little green stitching that I believe is where the elastic is stitched on to the PU leather. And that looks very nice. It just kind of looks like an extension of it. And then you also have that on this side. There is a small loose thread there. I'm not even sure how well you can see it near the elastic. And that's the only one that I've noticed. And overall, this thing has held up really well. I actually, because I was curious how the leather would hold up, I took everything out of this and really crumpled it up and made it really creased. And as you can see, pretty much all the creases have come out of this thing. But let's talk about how it holds money. Right now, I've just got one bill in here. It's a $20 bill. And as you can see, it's pretty well stuck in there. So like that's not going to just like come out without you wanting it to. And that's awesome that it's just one bill in there. And if you, you can obviously fit more, you can see that I can put my finger in there. Um, so you can fit quite a few bills in there, but even if you just have one in there, it's going to hold it pretty well. And then as I mentioned earlier, when it comes to cards, I have six in there right now. It is obviously with a lot of these minimalist wallets, it's, it's hard to get, like if you have a card in the middle, you kind of got to like pull them up and find where it is and then pull it out. So that's not super, easy to do but on most minimalist wallets i found that to be the case so you're going to want to put the cards you use often on this side or this side so you can just slide that card out or slide that card out so overall happy with the mechanism of getting the money and getting the cards out it doesn't hold a ton of stuff so if you're someone who has a bunch of stuff in your wallet this might be a good way to declutter your wallet and just use this for travel or if you're someone who all the time doesn't have very much stuff in your wallet this is a good option for you to keep things decluttered all the time. So when it comes to packability, obviously the size of the, this thing, you can see it in the palm of my hand is very small. No issues fitting it into really any pocket that I tried. And even if you have like very small pockets on like women's pants, you shouldn't have an issue fitting this inside. On one of my pair of pants, this did kind of hang out a little bit of the, just you could kind of see it poking out of the pocket, but that wasn't a huge deal. And to compare it to two other items, I have my iPhone 11 here. You can see the size difference is it's like about half this, probably less than half the size of my iPhone there. And this is just a uh, kind of cheap pocket knife I carry with me. So when I have both of these in my pocket, it's not a big deal at all. Some pants pockets and some wallets, if you have your wallet in there and you also have a knife or something like that or a car key, it can get really gummed up really quickly. And this is a wallet because it's so small and this toggle does sometimes poke out and you can that can be seen, but because of its small size, it can fit just about anywhere and you're gonna have no issue fitting this inside of a liner pocket of a sling, a day pack or whatever either. So when it comes to choosing a wallet, obviously the size is important. That's why I kind of compared it to my phone, uh, my iPhone 11, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And then 
uh, my pocket knife. But as it compares to another small wallet, I thought this was a very good comparison because they're very similar in size. This is the Magpul DACA Micro Wallet. We have a full review of this on the site, so you can check this out if you're interested. This is um, a more very synthetic feeling wallet, but it is a similar design. You've just got this one pocket here to stow your gear. The one thing I really like about the um, Mojito is that you do have this separate cash pocket, and this feels more like a traditional wallet. I really, I haven't carried a traditional wallet in a long time, but I do like how this feels, and I just, it just has a really great like aura about it. I know that's like a weird word to say about a wallet, but I like holding this, I like pulling it out, and I like using it. Whereas something like this isn't so much the case for me. I think it does work for travel when you're trying to be very minimalistic, and it's very minimalistic looking and feeling. You can obviously have that little loop there to attach it to things, and it's just incredibly small. Even when empty, let me pull this stuff out. This thing weighs a ton less and has such a smaller footprint than the Mojito. So if you're really trying to save space and you're really trying to go for that minimalistic look, the Magpul is a great shout. But if you want something that feels a little bit more like you're used to and also has a few features that you're used to and you don't care so much about weight, I think the Pact is a great option for you. So there you have it, the Pact Mojito Wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.